to swatch the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. Um, we did do another one um, a couple weeks ago and that was for the Morphe Kathleen Knights palette and a lot of you liked watching it, wanted to see the swatches, so I decided to do this one. Um, let me tell you the story about how I finally got this palette. Um, of course it was like there, everybody said get this palette, get this palette. My birthday came around and I was really wanting to get this. And we were wanting to get it for her. Yeah, for my birthday and they did not have it at Sephora or Ulta or online anywhere except for I think maybe the Anastasia Beverly Hills site. But at the time I was like alright well I'll get something different and then you know Know, whatever kind of through the course of whatever um, I ended up with the Kat Von D metal matte palette which was good. metal palette which I love and um, I really love Kat Von D palettes so then I started you know looking around more and whatever and they finally brought this one back in stock at Ulta no Sephora and my husband was like I'm just gonna go get it for you because even though part of me is like I have so many palettes or whatever every time I look at this every time I see this on a YouTube video or something I am like I need to get this palette so I did um, it's about $42 which for a palette is about whatever it's about right and this of course is what it looks like and I believe it's just Ah, sorry, there goes the brush. It is just gorgeous. I love the combination of colors in here. It's definitely me and the yeah. colors that I gravitate towards. The brush is even a nice brush. It kind of like has a crease brush on one side and a fluffy brush on the other. So you can definitely use it to make the look, which I really appreciate well, because a lot of time brushes it, are like useless in palettes. It had a fluffy brush. And there was a fluffy brush. It's not so fluffy anymore because <laughs> it fell. So anyway, we're going to do some swatches for you. We're going to start with this side and just go across. I'm going to do it on the back of my hand, obviously, because when I do it down here, it like never, never comes out correctly. So I'm going to do it on the back of my hand so you guys can see it. All right, so here is the first row of swatches. This one right here, you can barely see it. It's called Tempera, and it, it is a very nice, I think like a blending shade, maybe a beige shade. Mm -hmm. This one right here is called Gold, Golden Ochre. It's a matte shade, kind of a brownish color. I like it. I think it's a very nice like transition shade. This one right here is called Vermeer. It has more sparkles, I think. Um, kind of a little more shimmer. This one is definitely shimmery. It's called, oh wait, no, is this a matte? No, this is a matte. It's called Bon, bon Fresco. And it is, oh, there's a really beautiful like taupey rose mm -hmm. color. I love this. This right here is called Antique Bronze. It does have a little bit of a shimmer to it. This one is called Love Letter. That's gorgeous. It is. It's like this reddish, British mauvey pinky color, I guess. Yeah. And then Cypress Umber is this brown mm -hmm. right here. And that's a nice, nice uh, shading tone. Mm -hmm. Nice and dark. It is. All right. All these are very well pigmented. I think it really only took like two tries to get a really solid color. Yeah, and I think of all of these, the one that went on the best is probably this one, which is Vermeer. Mm -hmm. Kind of that like kind of more of a shimmery one right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like that top row. I have used this once to create a look. All right, so here is row two. As you can tell, it is a lot more like earthy tones, right? Mm -hmm. So this one right here is called Raw Sienna. And this one right here, Burnt Orange. If they are very similar. This one has a little bit more orange in it. Mm -hmm. Obviously it's called Burnt Orange. I do like these. I think these would make really beautiful uh, crease transition colors. This one right here is called Primavera, and I basically like swatched it and was like, oh yeah, yeah. it's very nice and shimmery. I think it's gorgeous. It's shimmery and it makes a nice base tone. Mm hmm, that's yeah. true. This one right here is called Red Ochre. Um, as you can see, it kind of swatches a little like unsteady, but I think that was just how I had it on my finger. Kind of like a, a brick color. Very much so. So, uh, this is where were we? Yeah, okay. Um, Venetian Red, that's this one right here. I really like it because it's it's a really good complement to the shade Love Letter, which was on the mm -hmm. top row. Um, I, I But I like this one a lot. This one's called Warm Taupe. It's a beautiful matte shade. Like, 
I love the taupe colors. I think they're, you know, very now, very in. And then this last one is called Real Gar, which is kind of like an orangey. It's a vermilion. Like, vermilion? Okay, yeah. But it's like a bronzy brown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's really pretty, pretty. And I don't really know what a Real Gar is, but... It's actually a color. Oh. Uh, based off of a mineral. Oh, well, there you go. So. So that's the bottom row. Um, overall, I'm just I'm just so happy I got this palette. I really am. I feel like, you know, everyone was like, you need to get it. And I was like, well, we, do I really need to get it? And she did need to get it. I, I think I did. I think. All of these colors work really well for her, especially because they work well with cool tones. Mm -hmm. And they also elevate a little bit of it by having some of those earthy tones in it to just kind of make you feel a little bit more there rather than ethereal berry tends mm, to be. It's true. So. Um, and I do feel like I have to try a palette from, you know, every company at least once. And I think this is a really good one from her. And since I've never had a palette from ABH before, I, you know, thought this is a really great one to have. And I, you know, a lot of people are trying to sell me on the Mario palette that came out after this and I'm glad I didn't get it because I really I really enjoyed this one a lot so if you are looking for more palette swatches um I do have them on my Instagram they are always coming every time I get a new palette I will swatch it there um so make sure you're looking at that at Zany Laney but if you want to see it do, see us do more of these on YouTube mm -hmm. go ahead and leave a comment down there below so we know what you're up for also what should I be getting this holiday like oh. later on what should, I, what should I get? I mean, Black Friday is coming up. I mean, by the time I put this up, it Black Friday is probably over. We've got Christmas coming up. Sometimes is. us guys need to know what to get the ladies. Yeah. And actually, this year, I've been kind of lucky because I've gotten a lot of the palettes that I have been wanting um, before Christmas. Usually, I don't buy a lot of palettes, so it's like I have a bunch that I want. But this year, I really had to go out and try to find it. Um, the other thing that's kind of interesting this year is that I've been waiting for the Pantone Color of the Year to come out so that I know if Sephora is going to come out with their like palette with the color of the year. I still haven't gotten one of those and I have kind of wanted it, so I'm waiting for what color it's gonna be before I decide if I'm gonna get it or not. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm hoping it's a, hoping it's a awesome color, mm -hmm. the color of the year. Maybe it'll be something in the rosy range. Yes. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for watching our palette swatches and until next time, stay zany. Bye. -bye.